Hi everybody, Joe here from Shutterspeak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling face again here on YouTube. Hey, so the Skylum team has launched an update to Luminar Neo today. It's update 1.10, okay? And with it comes a, a, a bunch of improvements to the, the UI to make it a little bit easier to use and a little bit easier to understand, as well as a bunch of uh, bug fixes as well. So, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown in a nutshell. Um, significant improvements to upscale AI. There's definitely a noticeable difference in upscale AI. So that's a nice improvement and I'll, I'll demonstrate. Uh, collapsible individual uh, extension panels in the catalog view. So if there's extensions you're not using there, you can collapse them, give you a little more room. Interface changes to noiseless AI, super sharp and magic light. Added support for the Sony ZV-E1 and the Sony FX30 camera and an I button, which is also a nice welcome uh, change. So now you can learn about each individual extension, okay? And uh, also a way to purchase extensions right through uh, the app, a little more streamlined interface. So if you need a, a new sky or you wanna get a new sky replacement package, it streamlines things a little bit. A bunch of performance and stability improvements, uh, including improvements in uh, face AI, mask AI, and improvements to sky AI uh, with the masking and, and bringing in sky packs. So, hey, let's take a look at this update and see what we think. Okay, so if you've been sitting on the fence thinking, maybe it's time to upgrade to Luminar Neo, well, I'll tell you what, if you need to renew your subscription, uh, if you're still on Luminar AI or Luminar 4, there is a great sale now on Luminar Neo. And as a little added bonus, I'm gonna give you a special coupon code just for uh, this YouTube channel and for the Facebook group that's gonna give you an additional 10% off. This is the best price of 2023 for the software. So the sale starts today, June 2nd, and it runs until June 14th, 2023. Okay, the offer is this. You can get the Luminar Neo Explore year subscription for $59, plus use the coupon and get an additional 10% off. And you'll get also the Creative Travel Pack as a gift. Alternately, you can get the Luminar Neo Pro year subscription for $79, plus the Creative Travel Pack as a gift. Now the Pro gives you all the extensions. So that's a great deal. So $79, take an additional 10% off that, I think it comes to 7110 with the coupon code, okay? Uh, or you can get the Luminar Neo Lifetime uh, subscription, $99. So that's the, the lifetime license for Neo, one time, $99, plus the creative travel pack as a gift. And then you can purchase also additionally the extension pack for $149. Again, 10% off with the coupon code. So the coupon code I will put on the screen and additionally, it will be in the comments section of this video in the notes. So check that out and use that coupon code just for you. So really, this is probably the best time. It's definitely the best sale of 2023. They're calling it Black Friday in June. And I think that you're gonna agree that this is uh, without doubt the, uh, the best deal that you're gonna see on this. So if you've been sitting on the fence, if you haven't been sure, or if you're expired and, and you're thinking about renewing. Now's the time to jump on this. So within the catalog tab, one of the first changes you're going to notice is the extensions now have the ability to collapse. So we can click the little carrot next to each one of them and they roll up. Now that may not seem like a big deal to you, but depending on your screen resolution, you may be out of space in that area. Like for me, example, uh, for me, as an example, I'm running a, a 4K monitor. So there's plenty of extra screen real estate here. But if you're running, say, at uh, 1920 by 1080, this column, you know, regular HD resolution, this column may be full here. And so by being able to collapse these, what does it do? Well, it gives us room for more extensions. So, hey, maybe there's something coming up there that's gonna fit in that column, maybe pretty soon, who knows. So let's swing on over to the edit tab and see what's new over there. Alrighty. So one of the other things that have been designed to make things easier for you to use 
is now a little bit of an explanation of what each tool set does. So if I go down to my, I'm in edit, if I go down my tools column here, and let's say for example, I click on enhance AI, you're now gonna see there's a little I button here that says info when you mouse over it. And if you click on it, it gives you a description of what the tool actually does. Okay, and then if you click learn more, it'll take you over to the documentation on the Luminar Neo uh, website, Skylum website and the manual, and give you a more detailed explanation of what that tool set does. So that's just a little something to make things a little easier to use. So one of the other big improvements is a change to, uh, or not a change to, but an update to Upscale AI. So this is now Upscale AI 2.0, and that it's definitely showing that there is a commitment by Skylum to, uh, you know, updating these these extensions for us. So that, that's really important. So there's, you know, improvements, stability fixes, improvements, and, and even revisions to these extensions. Uh, so that's nice to see. So I'm gonna just drop uh, a quick example uh, provided by Skylum uh, for me to show you the changes. So uh, again, it's a, a change from the version that was in 1.9 to the new version that's in 1.10. And you're gonna see how the picture is just in 1.9, a little bit wonky, a little problem with the eye there on the young boy. Um, better facial recognition now in version two and corrects problems like that and just does a really nice job of upscaling this photo. Okay, so another change is to the algorithm that does the Sky AI replacement. And so there's a couple of things I wanna show you here in using Sky replacement. And, and I purposely picked this image because it's a very tricky image with the trees and the church steeple and the background and the flag. So there's a lot that can go wrong with Sky replacement on an image like this. So I'm gonna go on over to favorites. And by the way, in case you didn't know, you can just click on the names of these sections and open and close them. You know, that's just a handy way of keeping your desktop and editing interface a little bit more tidy. So click on uh, Sky AI and it's going to give us, you know, its recommendations for this photo. And if, you know, there was something here that I, I you know, didn't have and, and it was something I really wanted, I could click on Get More Skies. And now you're going to notice that this opens directly within Luminar Neo, and that way you're not bouncing out to a website and then having to look around and maybe you don't see what you want and then going back to the software. So it's just a little bit more convenient for you to see. And, and you can see everything's here, LUTs, overlays, presets, right? So it's a little bit easier for you to find what you're looking for, right? So if we wanted to view the skies, we can click right in and now we can see uh, everything that would be in the sky pack and decide if it's right for us. So that's kind of a little handy, quick feature for you. But, all right, let's pick out a sky. So let's say I'm going to go with this recommendation right here for this photo. I'll take that one. Why not, right? And there it goes. And it looks like Luminar, did a, Luminar Neo did a pretty good job, except I see gaps here in the trees, which I kind of figured there would be, and over here as well. So... Mask refinement has been improved. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit global and just see if that helps. And I'm gonna try and close the gaps a little bit. And there we go. And just those two changes alone. The global's gonna have to come back though. Because yep, there, right there, because it was starting to get on the church. All right, so closing the gaps and fixing the details. A little bit more and fixing the details. And we're looking pretty good right there. So uh, I'd say, uh, yeah, that that did a pretty good job. Maybe go a little bit more on the details. Why not, right? And uh, yeah, so so this seems to be working pretty good. Okay, so now that we've done our sky replacement, which by the way, there's also stability and speed improvements, and I definitely noticed speed improvements when using sky replacement, but that also pertains to mask AI as well as the face AI tool. So let's let's take a look. Let's go down, let's close up favorites. Let's go down to essentials. And I'm gonna to go to structure. Now just keep in mind, if I wasn't sure what structure did, I can just click that I button. And it's gonna tell you, it's gonna allow me to adjust the details and clarity of the image. So I only wanna do this on the church. 
So let's use Mask AI because we have refinements to speed and some improvements to Mask AI. So let's see how that does. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to select architecture. And we have a selection of the church. Now, baptismal, no, that's definitely not the church there, but, but for the most part, it's got as much of it as you could select. And I wouldn't want to select more than that because I wouldn't want to affect the trees and things like that. So I would take that selection and be happy with it. And now I can start to boost up the amount of structure and give me, give just a, a more defined uh, church. You know, we're basically just applying like like mid-level contrast almost in a way to the church that really just kind of pulls out the details of the lines. So, and just to take a look at the before and the after, and you see how the lines kind of pulled out. And yes, it did affect right here, so I would have to definitely go in and brush that out. So let's erase that over there. Take that out. And yeah, so from there, I'd, I'd be pretty happy with that. Uh, I, I would say that that's, uh, that's pretty good. So I'd be remiss if I did not mention to you, of course, there are a whole bunch of bug fixes for both Mac and Windows versions of Luminar Neo. So version 1.10 is definitely something that you're going to want to download and start using right away uh, just for these performance and stability enhancements alone. Plus, there's a little bit of a change in the UI. So, um, you know, you don't want to be lost if you're following a tutorial on YouTube or something like that because the presenter is using a different version than you have. And I mean, why wouldn't you be on the latest version, right? One last thing I'd like to mention, we do have a Facebook group for Luminar Neo with a pretty active community of very supportive people. So it's a great place to share your work and be notified of the latest things that are happening with Luminar Neo. So I'm going to leave the link to that down in the comments section. Join us on Facebook and let's continue the conversation, okay? All right, so with each update of Luminar Neo, we see this becoming um, really a very mature platform at this point. And if you haven't upgraded to Neo yet, what are you waiting for? Um, really, there's everything in here that, that you're gonna want and probably all the things of whatever old Luminar version you're using that you, you wished for is in here and honestly better. So, hey, now's the time if you've been thinking about Neo, you know, now's the time to jump on it. Um, so, hey, I hope this helps you. Let me know what you think of these improvements uh, to Luminar Neo. I'd love to hear your comments. As you know, I try and answer just about everybody as, as much as I can. And uh, of course, I always appreciate when you comment. And if anything in this video has helped you out, please uh, consider subscribing, of course. That always helps me out and it's something you can do for me that's free, so I appreciate it. So, hey, as always, it was very nice seeing you, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. So, see you soon, YouTube. Bye-bye. One, two.